Hello students, uh, so in the last class we started with uh, triple integral and uh, we also looked into the uh, basic definition and uh, the concept of uh, triple integral. Uh, we also started with uh, one example which uh, turns, uh, turned out to be a little bit long, so we um, how to say uh, stopped it in the midway. So we will continue with the similar example and we will try to finish it in this uh, lecture and then we will also look into some more examples motivated from triple integral. So, we started with basically this example here, um, evaluate i equals to uh, x square plus y square plus z plus 1 whole square dx dy dz which is basically the volume element where the region is given by this here. So, so this one was basically our uh, region of integration. So, from here we calculated the range for z. So, obviously, the uh, z is varying from 0 to 1 minus x minus y because we start with all the points which are lying on the positive side of the uh, z axis. Similarly, y will vary from 0 to 1 minus x because we again start with the points which are lying on the positive side of y axis. And similarly, we start uh, we, uh, our x will vary from 0 to 1 because we are starting for all the points which are lying on the positive side of x axis. So, now that we have the limit, we can substitute for this uh, for these values for on this uh, um, on this uh, region of integration. It is better to write E here just to signify that we are talking about a region. Now we have substituted the limits as you can see here and then we will integrate one by one. So, first we will start with integrating uh, with respect to variable z. So, let us start with integrating with respect to variable z. So, this is basically uh, integral from 0 to 1 dx, integral from 0 to 1 minus x dy and then integral from 0 to 1 minus x minus y x plus y plus z plus 1 whole square dz. All right. So, when we are integrating this integrand with respect to z, that means x and y are both treated as constant here. So, because there is no uh, there is no z, uh, x and y variable involving in this uh, in this element uh, dz. So, that means we treat x, y and of course 1 as a constant here and then this is basically a plus x whole square uh, definite um, integral. So, for such integrals we know how to do that uh, how to do the integration. So, this will uh, reduce to 1 by 3 x plus y plus z plus 1 whole cube and then 0 to 1 minus x minus y all right so this is this will be the integral of this integration uh, of this uh, uh, integration here now i take 1 by 3 out and then this one is 0 to 1 dx and then this is 0 to 1 minus x and uh, now we substitute the value so when z is 1 minus x minus y so, then this will be basically 2, right? So, 8 minus when uh, z is 0, then this is basically 1 plus x plus y whole to the power 3 dy. Now, we integrate with respect to y only. So, again when we integrate with respect to y, then x will be treated as constant and 1 and 8 are of course uh, treated as constant. So, we integrate. So, let us integrate, then this will be 8y minus 1 plus x plus y to the power 4 divided by 4 integral from 0 to 1 minus x dx all right and uh, then we substitute the value so this will be basically 0 to 1 uh, 8 1 minus x minus 1 by 4 uh, this will be if i substitute 1 minus x then 2 to the power 4 and then minus minus plus uh, this will be 1 plus x divided by 4 whole to the power 4 dx. All right. So, we will basically obtain after uh, simplification, we will basically obtain uh, 1 by 3 4 x minus 4 x square plus 1 by 20 x plus 1 to the power 5 integral uh, sorry the value of the function of the integral evaluated at 0 to 1. 
So, here basically we calculate uh, x 1 plus x to the power 4 using the binomial theorem. Uh, so, it will be x to the power 4 plus 4 uh, x to the power 3 and so on and then we integrate with respect to x. So, this is a fairly a fairly uh, easy uh, how to say integral to evaluate. So, I am pretty sure you can be able to do this integral because it is a basically an algebraic expression and after you do the integration you will obtain a result like this and then we substitute the value and it will result in 1 by 60 times 32 minus 1. So, basically 31 by 16. So, that is the value of this integral uh, evaluated between th this re I mean uh, this, this region actually. So, here first um, we had to find out the range for the variable x, y and z and uh, afterwards we just integrated with respect to z first, with respect to y second and then with respect to z x third. So, this is the order which is uh, preferred by most of the uh, people. So, they uh, initially try with mm, integrating with respect to z and then y and then x. So, we will work out few more examples for you to get accustomed with um, triple integral. So, let us uh, go to our second example. All right. So, the second example is second example is um, evaluate. So, evaluate i equals to integral over the region E x square plus y square plus z square dx dy dz over the sphere x square plus y square plus z square is less or equal to a square. So, we have to evaluate this integral here. So, that is the integrand basically. So, this integral here over the region E and this region E is basically that sphere uh, which is uh, a, of course, a bounded, uh, uh, bounded domain uh, when A is finite and uh, if we want to draw this sphere. So, I am not a really good how to say really good at drawing. So, this is basically 0 y z and x. So, that is my radius a and this is this rectangular uh, sorry this is this region e where we have to perform the integral. So, now in this region now in this region if we substitute. So, let us substitute let us substitute uh, uh, x equals to r cos theta cos phi y equals to r sin theta ok. We will start with r sin theta cos phi r uh, sin theta sin phi and uh, z equals to r cos theta. So, if we take uh, square of x square plus y square plus z square then this will actually reduce to this uh, sphere uh, x square plus y square plus z square equals to a square. Now, uh, to do the change of variables actually we know that uh, we need to calculate the Jacobian. So, for the function of uh, two variable the Jacobian was given as del x y del u del v. So, for the that was for the function of two variable. Now, if we want to have the Jacobian for the function of three variable then in that case we basically write x y z and then del u del, uh, del u v and w. So, this is uh, how to say a standard way of converting a change of, of converting a one a function of one variable to a function of second variable in the integral and uh, for in order to do that we need to calculate the Jacobian which is given in this fashion. So, this is basically del x uh, del u del x del v del x del w and then we have uh, uh, del y del u del y del v del y del w then del z del u 
del z del v del z del w now here u is basically r v is basically theta and z is basically phi so if we integrate if we differentiate x y and uh, z with respect to r theta and uh, uh, phi then basically we can calculate this whole determinant and it will result in r square sin theta so this 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 task is is very simple and therefore i leave this one to the students to calculate so we'll basically obtain r square sin theta and uh, therefore i can write my integral i over the region e x square plus y square plus z square dx dy dz so if i transform this integral into a polar one then in that case uh, this will be r running from 0 to a because that's what our that's that's the range for the uh, for the um, variable um, r or the radius and uh, theta will run from 0 to pi and phi will run from 0 to 2 pi all right and um, this will be x square plus y square plus z square so if i substitute for x r square uh, r sin theta cos cos phi then it will be r square sin, sin square theta uh, cos square phi and uh, similarly it uh, for y it will be r square um, r square sin square theta sin square phi and then z will be uh, um, z will be r square cos square theta so we substitute all those things and then this will be re uh, reduced to r square uh, times determinant of z uh, dr d theta and uh, determinant of z dr d theta d phi and then this will be r running from 0 to a theta running from 0 to pi and phi running from 0 to 2 pi this is r square and uh, determinant of j is r square sin theta dr d theta d phi and uh, then this whole thing will reduce to uh, integral r running from 0 to a theta running from 0 to pi and uh, phi running from 0 to 2 pi r square sin theta dr d theta dr d theta d phi so the same thing here and now we integrate with respect to th phi first so we integrate with respect to phi and then this will be phi so the value of phi will be 2 pi basically so i'm taking that 2 pi outside and uh, then here we will have dr d theta next we will integrate with respect to uh, we will integrate with respect to theta first and uh, then in that case this will reduce to minus of cos theta so here let us write r running from a to pi when we integrate with respect to theta first it will be um, uh, so r square r square so sorry we will have r to the power 4 right yes so r to the power 4 and when we integrate with respect to theta then this will be minus of cos theta theta will vary from 0 to pi d theta uh, d, sorry dr and when cos theta uh, when, when cos theta when theta is pi then cos pi is minus 1 then this one will be plus 1 and uh, uh, this one will be uh, cos 0 so cos 0 is uh, um, um, 1 and then minus minus plus so this will again be 4 pi times integral from 0 to a r to the power 4 uh, dr and when we integrate this one then this will be uh, 4 pi r to the power 5 by 5 r running from 0 to a so this will be 4 by 5 pi a to the power 5 4 by 5 pi a to the power 5 so this is the required answer for the integral for the triple integral which we started with and uh, we can see that so here so here we can see that uh, we uh, were given a bounded region first of all so from the bounded region 
it's also uh, very uh, convenient to use a polar a spherical polar coordinate system so here we have uh, our um, here we have a, a sphere basically and uh, for this sphere we can use the spherical polar coordinate substitution so that's r sin theta cos phi r sin theta sin phi and r cos theta of course this point lies on the sphere now we substitute uh, 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 so next we calculate the Jacobian and while um, we have the Jacobian value we can do the uh, how to say change a variable or transformation and uh, by changing the variable we have next new variable as dr d theta d phi and then here you will have a Jacobian j and uh, just substitute the value of the Jacobian and then integrate with respect to phi first then with respect to theta and then with respect to r and that will be our required answer. And this is the area which is basically bounded by, uh, sorry, this is the, um, how to say, it, um, the value of the integral, uh, of the integral given um, bounded by that uh, region or that uh, sphere x square plus y square plus z square uh, is less or equal to a square. So, um, this was one such uh, example of triple integral. Similarly, we can also have uh, uh, example of type uh, let us say example 3 evaluate where V, v is the sphere is it 1 yes so now again here we are given a sphere which is uh, basically uh, uh, again a bounded sphere so a bounded region we have in our hand and uh, we need to evaluate this integral here so the integral i is given by integral over v x square dx dy dz and uh, obviously v is a bounded region where um, uh, x, y and z uh, can be transformed into a spherical polar coordinate system. So, we can have x equals to sorry x equals to r sin theta sin phi uh, sin theta cos phi or sin theta sin phi like here. So, uh, sin theta cos phi and then sin theta sin phi ok we can also take that one. So, sin theta cos phi, we can take sin theta cos phi and then y equals to r sin theta sin phi and then z is r cos theta. So, now we can have dx dy dz uh, calculated then on the right hand side we will have uh, um, dr d theta and uh, d uh, phi calculated and uh, we substitute the value of uh, x here uh, which is r square sin square theta cos square phi. So, ultimately ultimately this whole thing will reduce to r varying from 0 to 1 and uh, theta is varying from 0 to pi and phi is varying from 0 to 2 pi then we have uh, x square which is basically r square sin square theta cos square phi and then dx dy dz which can be transformed into determinant of uh, j uh, dr d theta and d phi all right so now we can calculate this jacobian here so in order to calculate this jacobian we will do the similar trick what we did uh, in the previous example and this will be basically r square sin theta was it the same thing yes so we will obtain r square sin theta so substitute the value of r square sin theta and uh, then this whole thing will reduce to a basically a trigonometrical expression uh, so this whole thing will reduce to basically a trigonometrical expression and then we just integrate with respect to phi first and then with respect to theta and then with respect to r so let us uh, try to do that so, what we do we first uh, separate the function phi so cos square phi d phi and then integral from theta running from 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi sin square theta 
d theta and uh, if we integrate with respect to r first then this will be 1 by r to the power 5 uh, 0 to 1 and then I will have a 1 by 5 here and this is basically d r uh, so this is basically d theta d phi so this is basically um, so what we have here so we have r square sin theta so we have r square sin theta so this will be sin cube and uh, we will have sorry so we will have 1 by 5 r to the power 5 so 1 by 5 is already outside so we will have r to the power 5 all right so now we do substitution for r equals to 0 and r equals to 1 so this term will remain as it is and then here we will have integral from 0 to 2 pi cos square phi d phi integral from theta running from 0 to pi sin cube theta d theta here we can either use the induction formula or we can use the trigonometrical formula where this will reduce to sin 3 theta minus 3 sin theta and uh, from there we can do some calculation and we can be able to uh, find out the value of this integral with respect to theta and uh, then we integrate uh, then we adjust a factor 2 here so that we will get 2 cos square phi and then we can write 1 minus uh, 2 cos square phi is cos 2 phi minus 1 uh, sorry uh, cos 2 phi uh, plus 1 and uh, from there we can be able to calculate this integral as well or we can use the induction formula. So, on both of them we can either use the induction formula or use our traditional uh, cos 2 phi sin 3 phi uh, results and then after doing the uh, simplification we can be able to obtain 8 by 5 times 1 by 2 times pi by 2 times 2 by 3. So, this is basically uh, 4 pi by 15 and this is the required answer of our problem where is that this here. So, here the given integrand was uh, x square yeah, times dx dy dz. So, basically doing this uh, simple method of substitution uh, we can be able to reduce the whole integral into a rather simpler one and then we just use some trigonometrical formula like cos 2 theta sin 2 theta cos 2 phi uh, cos 3 theta and all and that will give us the required value of this integral because now we are integrating basically two different uh, integrals because of their integrand. So, this one we can do that at home and this one also we can uh, do that um, uh, basically uh, um, by, by ourselves and uh, just um, how to say writing cos 2 phi cos square phi as uh, uh, the pro as that formula expression of cos 2 phi plus 1 and uh, we can write sin to the uh, sin cube theta as uh, sin 3 theta formula uh, we can be able to calculate these two uh, integrals uh, separately and then substitute them and that will give you the answer. So, um, once you reduce them to a trigonometrical form it is not that difficult all right and uh, this was the second example or uh, third example basically which we covered. Um, we can work out uh, one more example if you if we have some time. So, let us consider an another example. Um, so, and another example could be uh, without having to reduce it into a trigonometrical form could be um, so we can start with uh, okay let us let us consider this problem here. So, example 3 evaluate i equals to integral over the region r 1 minus x square minus y square minus z square dx dy dz where r is the region interior to the sphere x square plus y square plus z square equals to 1. So, solution here also 
uh, what we will do basically is um, uh, R is the region which is uh, the interior of this sphere. So, again the region R is bounded by this sphere um, uh, S here let us say. So, we will we can draw the So, this is our z axis, this is our y axis, this is our x axis and uh, that is my sphere, this is the radius 1 and this hole is the region R. So, this is the region R and uh, if we substitute again x equals to uh, R sin theta cos phi, y R sin theta cos phi, y equals to R sin theta sin phi and z equals to r cos theta then this will basically uh, uh, this this uh, integral i equals to integral over the region r uh, 1 minus x square minus y square minus z square dx dy dz. So, when we are transforming it into a uh, how to say a polar spherical polar coordinate system our r will run from 0 to 1 theta will run from 0 to uh, pi and phi will run from 0 to 2 pi uh, then we substitute for x y uh, x is uh, x y and z and uh, here basically uh, here basically uh, the value of the integral so when we substitute uh, r equals to um, cos square theta r equals to sin square r, r equals to uh, when we substitute x equals to r square sin square theta uh, cos square phi and uh, y equals to um, so the value of this integrand basically will be 0. So, this here uh, so this problem will not be that much uh, uh, how to say um, interesting for us. So, what uh, we can do is we can impose conditions like x greater equal to 0, y greater equal to 0 and z greater equal to 0. Then in that case we are actually in the first uh, quadrant and then uh, for the first quadrant uh, we can have theta running from 0 to pi by 2 and uh, um, theta running from 0 to pi by 2 and uh, phi will run from again 0 to pi by 2 where is r running from 0 to um, 1 and then this will be 1 minus r square dx d uh, Jacobian of j dr d theta d phi. So, we, we just made the problem a little bit more uh, interesting so by imposing these three conditions. So, if we impose these three conditions that means x will lie in the first quadrant, y will lie again in the second quadrant and z will also lie in the uh, so y will also lie in the first quadrant and z will also lie in the first quadrant. So, that means uh, they are both uh, lying in the positive uh, quadrant of uh, uh, x, y and z uh, axis and then in that case uh, theta will go from 0 to 2 pi and uh, uh, phi will also go from 0 to 2 pi. So, that that is what uh, uh, we have written here. And now this Jacobian we know that is basically r square sin theta. So, let us write that and uh, this will be integral from 0 to 1 theta will be from 0 to pi by 2 and uh, phi will be from 0 to pi by 2 r square sin theta square root of 1 minus r square dr d theta d phi and now we can uh, evaluate these uh, three uh, integrals. Uh, so, basically the, the triple integral 1 by 1. So, what we can do? We can write uh, integral 0 to pi by 2 d phi and then integral from 0 to pi by 2 sin theta d theta and then integral from 0 to 1 r square 1 minus r square dr. So, this is what we will get and uh, we can calculate this one. Uh, from our usual trigonometrical results. So, we again substitute r equals to um, s sin I do not know t and then from there we can try to calculate this uh, this for uh, this function uh, this integral here. Calculating these two would not be difficult. So, this one is basically 
pi by 2 and this one is minus cos theta. So, cos pi by 2 is 0. This, so, this basically will give us 1. So, the value of this integral is 1, this one is pi by 2 and uh, the uh, calculation of this one uh, should be uh, should be uh, fairly easy using some trigonometrical results and ultimately we will obtain the value as uh, pi by 2 times uh, 1 by 4 times uh, 4 1 by so pi by 2 this one is 1 and this one is just you just calculate the value and substitute here that will that will give us the required value. So, this is pi by 2, this is 1 and uh, you have to calculate the value of this part to, to substitute here and that will be the answer of this integral. So, I am leaving the calculation up to the students uh, because it is a very fair uh, simple uh, example. Um, uh, so, here in this case also uh, our given uh, region of integration was uh, this uh, sphere bounded by 3 uh, other conditions that uh, the all the points should lie on the positive side of uh, uh, x axis, y axis and z axis that means we are in the first quadrant and therefore your r theta and phi would uh, vary from 0 to 1 pi by 2 and pi by 2 respectively and then we just substituted uh, the values for x, y, z using spherical polar coordinate system and uh, then we just have to do this simple calculation. So, and that will give you the required answer. So, here uh, in again in this example we saw that how we calculate the triple integral on a bounded uh, region and uh, we can also work out several examples of this type. All you have to do is to find out the um, find out the region or the, 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 the domain for the variables x, y and z for which we can do the uh, integral actually. And once you have the region, then doing the integral uh, or performing the triple integral would be fairly easy as we saw in these examples. So, we will try to include uh, some more examples in your assignment sheet so that you can be able to practice them and uh, be perfect at them. And we will stop our triple integral part uh, here and in the next class we will start with um, our uh, um, area of plane regions. So, uh, thank you for your attention today and uh, I will um, Look forward to you in the next class.